I'm George Motes, and these are my favorite snacks. The Motes Family Trail Mix. It's goldfish, it's goobers. Check this out, right? Look at that, it's salty, it's sweet, it's cheesy. Very basic snack, and that's it. And thank you, I didn't have any food this morning. This was invented by my daughter at, I'm assuming two or three o'clock in the morning. I think I discovered it in her room the next day when I was cleaning up. <laughs> and I looked at this bowl of goldfish and chocolate covered peanuts and I said, this kid's going places. Look at that. <laughs> From Brazil, it's pasoquita. Basically peanut butter, salt, and sugar. Think of like a, a solid, a semi-solid piece of peanut butter with lots of sugar in it. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you wouldn't really find this in American, American culture because it falls apart too easily. I think you imagine so many companies in the US who make snacks are probably like, we can't sell that. It's so crumbly. Look at that, it's falling apart. You, how are you gonna sell this? But that's actually what makes it taste so good. You need to visit every single supermarket in every town, every city, every country you visit. You have to go to, to supermarkets because supermarkets are where you see how people eat. Even if you're not gonna buy anything, just walk the aisles and discover what people eat out there. It's very important. Why didn't you throw this at me? <laughs> I could have caught it. The knife and ceramic plate. This is murked cheddar. Murked, murked, I can't, actually I can't pronounce it. <laughs> I think it's murked cheddar, okay, from Wisconsin. It is not what you think it is. It's not one of those crappy processed cheese you've seen before. You know who you are. This is cold packed cheddar spread. It is great on a cheeseburger. In fact, if you go to just about any uh, hamburger or hot dog stand worth it in Chicago, and they make something called a, a char cheddar, there's a good chance it's got Merck's cheddar on it. It's great, it's, it's sharp, yummy. Oh, look at this cute little thing of Ritz. How'd you get the short ones? It's so cute. Little bit of Merck cheddar on a Ritz. Good salty, classic Ritz. Mmm. Mmm. You can't do that with the other, you know, cheese spreads. Doesn't take That is a fantastic cheese right there. Mmm. Who doesn't love Doritos? How about some sour cream with their Doritos, right? Who knows the history of Doritos? Do you know the history of Doritos? Invented in the 1960s, mid 60s, at a restaurant in Disneyland in Anaheim. They had all this surplus corn tortillas. They started frying it up. So the first flavor of Doritos, did you know this? Was simply just toasted corn with salt. That was it. That was the first Dorito. Nacho cheese didn't come around until 1972, but it was something that my, my Aunt Susie taught us when she was babysitting us when we were kids. She would pull out a big bag of Doritos, nacho cheese Doritos, and dip it into sour cream. Now, if you've if never done this, you probably wouldn't imagine what it tastes like. Not for the lactose intolerant, that's for sure, but this is a fantastic moment right here. Mm. Mm. Doritos and sour cream remind me of my childhood more than just about anything. That flavor, that texture is my childhood. Mm. Yes, one of my all-time favorite snacks, and you've never had this before. This is the, ready for this one? This is the Choco Smoky. <laughs> the Choco Smoky! The very popular Serbian snack called the Smoky. And the Smoky, the original version, is just this, it's basically like a, think of a, um, like a corn puff or a Cheeto, right? But instead of being covered with cheese, it's covered with some kind of like a peanut dust, or it's made with peanut something, I'm not sure. And then they came up with the idea to cover it in chocolate. This is a great snack. And this thing, I could eat the whole thing right now. I may do that, actually. It looks silly, it looks kind of gross, actually, but. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh. 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 So good. But good luck trying to find these. <laughs> I'll be taking this with me, thank you. I don't know how, but like, if you go to the Serbian market, it costs nothing, it costs like a dollar. How'd they get this across the ocean? and sell it to me for a dollar. I'm confused by that, but it's inexpensive. But a lot of times I'm looking for stuff that looks unique, stuff that I haven't, haven't tasted before. I mean, I, I can't tell how many times I've picked up a, something on the, on the supermarket shelves and taken one bite and go, oh, bleh. <laughs> but I do try at least. You should definitely try. You should definitely go into any store you want and try whatever you can, you can stomach, basically. And because you're gonna find something like this. I'll be very happy about it.
Thanks. Thanks for letting me uh, talk about my favorite snacks and actually eat them right in front of you. This is my new book. It's the Great American Burger Book, the cookbook version two. It's expanded, updated. I'm also opening a restaurant. It's called Hamburger America. Same name as the, my first hamburger film, my guidebook called Hamburger America. Hope to see you there. We're going to have burgers you might recognize from this book. Oh, this is a great show, by the way. Can I just say this is a great show? This, this series is fantastic. I'm not just blowing smoke up your ass, either. And don't do an animation for that. That's disgusting. Please don't. <laughs>